Trying to find a phone number. John Wilson was supposed to be working here in Sacramento until July, but the pandemic pushed a lot of his deadlines back. So knowing he might not make it home in time for the November election, he requested a mail-in ballot on August 22nd. So I got a notice right away that uh, my ballot request had been accepted. But by the middle of September, the ballot still hadn't arrived. So I began to call and they explained that there had been suits filed in Pennsylvania to delay the printing of the ballots because they were contesting whose names would be on the ballot. He finally received his ballot in the mail and dropped it back off at the post office on October 13th. And I really wanted to be certain it got there, so I sent it certified. He tracked his ballot every day and received the same information. His ballot would arrive on Monday, October 19th. But by the 23rd, his ballot still hadn't shown up. Otherwise, after no, trying numerous dead end phone numbers in Pittsburgh, he finally got a hold of someone. And she couldn't help me. She said, all I can tell you is that, you know, you'll have to file an online complaint. So that's what he did. Then this Tuesday, he received a letter in the mail from his county election bureau. And it was a notice that said that my ballot had been received the day before, but they couldn't process it because there was a minor discrepancy in the address. The letter went on to say if he showed up in person on election day before 8 p.m. with his ID, they could process his ballot. So now Wilson is booked on a flight to Pennsylvania this Sunday. He's allowing Monday as a buffer in case any of his flights are delayed. Wilson says people in many other countries don't have the right to vote for their leaders. So we should do everything in our power to take advantage of that right. And I want my voice to be heard and I want it to count. In Sacramento, Walter McCullough, KCRA 3 News.